tell where a play comes from. But um, in this case, I think I can be very specific, uh, certainly where the form came from. I had written versions of two Greek tragedies, uh, Electra and Hecuba, both of which centre on um, a woman's desire for revenge. And I wanted to know if you could translate that desire into contemporary terms. The Matchbox is uh, an extraordinary play, but I think it is above all a great story. Frank has written a complex, interesting, compelling story that takes you on a number of different paths. I remember when I read it first, I remember I read it in Manchester and I could not put the play down. I could not actually stop, there was no break. At the beginning, you meet Sal. She's a woman who's living on Valencia Island in County Kerry. She's been there for a number of years. And you realize very quickly that something tragic has happened in her life. What did they steal? My peace. My comfort. She's in a terrible predicament. Uh, her child has just been most violently killed. And she's dealing with this savage bereavement and at one level maybe that's all that can be said about her that she's a woman suffering from this wound of loss but this woman is a survivor and this woman has powerful feelings and moves through this into something else she is a first generation irish she's dealing with that displacement her parents displacement in england she's dealing with the fact that she did get pregnant early She's dealing with the fact that she's fiercely bright, but that she really gave up her education to, to mind her daughter. She's dealing with an awful lot of um, powerful forces that have shaped her life. And then suddenly this utter shock to her system happens. And it brings into focus, I think, the rage that has been um, propelling her almost from birth. Uh, her rage, her parents' rage, her rage against the world. As the play progresses and as she progresses with her story, it's, it's as if there's an unveiling of different layers of Sal and there's an unveiling of different layers of the story. And it's never what you think it's going to be and she's never what you think she's going to be. With Frank's work, like there's always such richness in Frank's work, such great humour. Like he, he can't help it himself, even, even when he's discussing something very profound in the text, you know, he can't help, you know, coming out with a humorous line. Sal has been played by Cathy Belton. I love Cathy's work because she brings to it um, a very um, powerfully accurate way of depicting what the human heart is capable of registering and she does that unflinchingly. Uh, she's one of the most courageous actresses I know and that courage is crucial. What's great about Joan is, is her clarity and her questioning and her forensic examination of the text um, and that's a gift to an actor because what she does is with that great framework that is McGuinness's work and score but then there is the forensic examination of the case by Joan Sheehy. So there's, there's a really great solid two frameworks for me to climb up on top of this beast, this great beast.